In Jesus' name. There's a great anointing in the atmosphere. It's a witch. Very rich. Oh God, even if you are sick, you will be healed today. Oh my God. He's so rich. Glory to God, the presence of the Lord is here. Man. Are you ready to receive from the Lord? Hey. 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 If I begin to throw the anointing, just catch it. Come on, how many are ready to catch it? Catch it. Take it. Take it. Take it over there. Oh God, we are hungry for the anointing. Yes, 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 yes. This is a bomb already. This is a bomb. This is a bomb. This is a bomb. It's the Holy Ghost. <laughs> So rich, so touchy. There's no harm with the Holy Spirit. We don't talk a little bit about the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Come on, in the second man. Are you sure? Hallelujah. Well, I greet you this afternoon in a name that is above every name. God bless you and greet all of you in Jesus' name. May my God bless you with everyone. Amen. Our first time guest, God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go today. Remember when we came back, I started a series that I didn't conclude. Created for purpose. Amen. I mean, remember that. So instead of concluding, then I moved to created to have dominion. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because it's very important to know the dominion that we have to Christ Jesus. And I mentioned that the word dominion is a territorial power. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. We will start concluding, and in my teaching, I gave you the definition of purpose. That purpose is an original intent why something or someone was created. Because without purpose, there's no reason for creation. Amen? We are created for purpose. If there's no purpose, we will not be here. God always creates purpose first. Then he creates someone for it. Amen? Without purpose, there is no reason for creation. Yes, sir. Remember, purpose is the original intention why something or someone was created. Amen? Amen. And also share with you in that teaching that your purpose is not your decision. Amen. I mean, remember that your purpose is not your decision. Your purpose is your Discovery. Yes, sir. Your purpose is your discovery. discovery. Amen? Amen? So in other words, you don't decide what you want to do. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The creator decides for you what to do. Because the creator created you for that purpose. Amen. Specific purpose. 
Amen? So your purpose is not your decision. Your purpose is your discovery. Can you say discovery? Can you say discovery? Oh my God, can you say discovery? That means you have to discover what you are created for. What you are created for. Many people are frustrated. They don't know what they are created for. Many people operating on their own purpose. It's not what God created them for. They make a decision on what is their calling. Another thing we need to know is that your profession is different from your purpose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. I'm going to repeat. Your profession, what you went to school for, is not your purpose. Sometimes they might coincide. Yeah. Sometimes they might coincide, but your profession is different from your purpose. Amen. Amen. Because your profession, your education, originated from the natural realm. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Oh, no, that's right. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There you go. But your purpose. Has some spiritual characteristics. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your purpose originated from heaven. Amen. That's right. Not from the heart. Yes, sir. Your purpose comes from your creator. Yes. Yes. Now, when we talk about purpose, I'm not talking about profession. Yes, sir. And I'm not saying to give your profession. <laughs> Amen. 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 That's why I say I have to teach it again and bring better understanding. Amen. And give you there's about five topics. Maybe you might think about five weeks. You have to deal with this step by step. Amen. Amen. So we know that our profession is different from our purpose. It's okay to go to school, get education. Amen. Amen. Have a career. Amen. Yes. I went to school myself. Yes. Amen. Have my career. Have my degree. Have my degree in my business. I have a bachelor's degree. I have a master's degree. Even I have a doctorate degree uh-huh. in theology. Yes. But I have a business degree. Yes, but one thing, I never use my degree to get a job yet. Oh, amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. But don't think we don't differently. Oh, come on, somebody talk to me. I have to take my time to say, God deal with the world differently. The way God dealt with me or dealing with me is going to be different than the way God will deal with me. We are different. We are unique in our own way. Amen. No one is better than one person. We are unique. God made us different. Amen. So our purpose is different from our profession. Sometimes they might coincide. Amen? Amen. And our profession, our education comes from the natural realm. Yes, sir. As nothing about spiritual. Amen. But our purpose has spiritual characteristics. Yes, it comes from God. Amen? Amen. So in two different things you can be a, a, a doctor, a lawyer, a businessman, or still have a calling. Yes. 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 Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, you can be a businessman, but still have your spiritual calling, yes, your sir. purpose from God. Yes. Amen. Yes. We can do both. I thought we should do both. Yes. Amen. Then we have a balance. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Glory to God. Now I've seen situation. That some people, like a young man, I show you a football player that got injured. Some of you remember, I showed you on the yes. screen. Yeah. He, he, he was a football player. I believe he's still Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. Yeah. Buffalo. I mean, no, no, the guy. He got injured on the field. You know, do you know what that young man said? He said he discovered his purpose. Yeah. That his purpose yeah. is better than his NFL career. Yeah, right yeah. 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 Thank you. You still have it. Yeah. Uh, his name is, uh, then 
and right? I mean, yes. He said my vision was about playing in the NFL and being the best player I could be. He said, but God. That's right. That's it. Hey. But God. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Was to have a purple greater than the football that I played. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because a young man, I think, was only 23 years old. He discovered his own purpose. Even though he's different, but they, they coincide because they make money from football to finance his purpose. Oh, God. Oh God! Oh God! Thank you. Father, we thank you. Let's go quick to Jeremiah 1 4 to 9. Jeremiah 4 to 9. And the topic is how to discover your purpose. The first topic that I preach is created for purpose. Now we know that we are created for purpose. But now how do we discover? Since our purpose is not our decision. Our purpose is our discovery. Amen. Father, we thank you. Jeremiah 1, 4 to 9. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nation. Then said, Ha, love God. Behold, I cannot speak. Behold, I cannot speak. Now, let me just stop there and continue. Our passion is not necessarily our calling. Amen. Come on. It might give you a clue to what you are called to do. But our passion is not what? Necessarily our calling. This is Daniel Murray, God calling as a prophet. Amen. And he told God, I cannot speak. That means not to have the passion to speak all the time. Amen. Oh, and as a prophet, you have to speak. Amen. That's the only way you can manifest the gift Amen. of the prophetic ministry. Amen. Is that right? Amen. So how can you prophesy if you don't like to speak? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, and I'm very sorry. So our passion is what we are called to do. I can prove you wrong in the spirit. The first thing, the lawyer said, Oh God, I can't speak. Uh -huh. See, that's the difference between profession and purpose. Yes. Because I know you can't speak, <laughs> but when I put my anointing on you, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. when the power of God comes upon you, yes, Come on. Even you won't be able to stop speaking. Amen. Are you with me? Amen. Yes. All right. Not necessarily. Our passion will be a clue also to our profession. Yeah. In most cases, to our calling, it might be different. Yes. Amen. I see people in ministry that don't like to speak, but not call them to be a preacher. Uh oh. Timothy James don't like to speak. He was quiet. He said, I can't confront people. Amen. Much more to speak in front of 5,000, 20,000, 30,000 people. It's not Timothy James. It's the anointing of God upon Timothy James. Jeremiah said, I cannot speak. For yet, God said, I have ordained you to prophesy. Uh -huh. <laughs> but he said to me, do not say I will you.
For you shall go to all to whom I sent you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of your faces. For I am with you to deliver you. Say to the Lord. Say to the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touch his mouth. The Lord did what? Put all his hand and did what? And touch his mouth. It is true that Jeremiah don't have passion to speak. Amen. It is true that Jeremiah don't have boldness to speak in front of people. Amen. Your purpose, you cannot do it without the anointing of God. Amen. The anointing makes the difference. Yes, sir. Come on. Say it again. So you say, I know you cannot do it. Yes, sir. And the Lord touch is lips. The Lord of God, he anointed his lips to speak. Amen. Amen. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my word in your mouth. Your purpose is not your decision. Your purpose is your discovery. Now the point, how do we discover our purpose. Ah! Number one. I will give you the list and then we we'll take it one by one. How do we discover our purpose? Number one. Receiving revelation knowledge. Receiving Revelation knowledge. Revelation knowledge is the spirit of knowing. Come on, teacher. It's the spirit of knowing. Number two, know God. Know God. And I'll tell you why I put Revelation knowledge number one. And number two is no God. God will not give you revelation if you don't know Him. Because secret things are revealed to those that fear the Lord. That's right, sir. Amen. And if a prophet prophesied to you, you will obey it because you don't know who the God is. Wow. You will not obey it. It won't make sense to you. Yes, sir. It won't make sense to you. Yes, sir. And then, some people they prophesied to them, oh God, a, a, a revelation of knowledge. But after today, they didn't do anything because they don't know God. Mm. Knowing God or no God. Number three, we people will take this one by one. Some of you in this process of teaching this message, you will discover your calling. It will be spoken to you. Amen. Number three, be in the right environment. Oh. Huh? My, my, be my, my. in the right environment. Not the mic. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> So it will take you one by one weekly. <laughs> Number four. Serve a vision. Mm. That's a hard one. Serve a what? A vision. And some people in another ministry, God called them to be a prophet and there are other pastors that cannot prophesy. We don't get that. Amen. 
There's a lot of people right now that they call themselves prophets, but they don't prophesy. Amen. Some call themselves miracle walking pastor. Oh. And nobody has ever gone healed in that ministry. Some people call their church deliverance. <laughs> Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be a good series. Yeah. Yeah. I see churches over there go, deliverance! Go to Baltimore and say, oh, deliverance! Yes, it is. And they don't go to And then deliverance goes, and they don't go to the deliverance. They never cast out a demon. Come on. Let's go ahead. Amen. But it's very important to get there and fix this one by one. The environment that you are in. Yes. It counts a lot. I'm going to get there. I mean, you cannot call yourself evil and you are associating Jesus. Is that too far? No, Yes, right on time. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> and that is very important. Sometimes you do this. I'll, I'll get it later. I'll take it one by one. I'll go back to number, number, number one. Do you know why environment is so important? You remember the story of Elijah and Elisha? Yes. Elisha asked for what? Double portrait of your spirit. Yes. What did Elijah call? Elijah called Elisha. Yes. Yes. If you want, yes. you know what he was saying indirectly? If you are in my environment, yes. Yes. if you are in my environment, where I'm going, because something is about to be dispersed. But if you are not there, and you cannot be sitting there. Yes. Yes. The son is living in the environment. Amen. We will take one by one. I'm not there yet. Amen. Environment. Very important. And I'm sorry that your environment is so dry. And I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to be making memories of the churches and so, you know, but there's an environment and so dry. Yes. Don't be moved, don't be different, don't heal it, don't be miracle. They don't be teaching of the world, it's not sound. The whole congregation is sleeping when the pastor is teaching. Oh, Environment is very important. Yes. Are you hear what I'm saying? Oh, we don't know there's an anointing there. Environment also includes who do you associate yourself with? Yes. Yes. Take your time, sir. Environment. Amen. 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 I'm telling you, in this ministry, the environment is so rich. I don't even know their hands for you to receive the Holy Ghost. I don't even know bread for you to receive the Holy Ghost. There's a mother that came to me this morning and said, Ah, it's very good, sir. I didn't want to pray for her. Touch her. Are you ready? I've already prayed. I've already spent time in the presence of God. When you come into the open the Spirit, the healings and deliverance are happening. And parliament, and parliament is so rich. I don't know what it is. Come to the Spirit, you know what it is yesterday. But when we stop him, and parliament changed. Yeah, he changed. He has to change for the sons of God and the children of God. The other of the most high God are here. And now they can change. Because life and death this cannot coexist. When we come in, then Be in the right 
and bow down. Ministry can be very deep and very dry. That's right. And we look in the spirit, in the natural, not the spirit. We have to be in the right environment. Amen. 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 We'll take this with me, one back. Number four, serve a vision. Serve a vision. I truly believe Elijah was a prophet. Before he met Elijah. Amen. Come on. Yes, sir. When he told him that Elijah was being taken off, he said, I know. Come on. Yes, sir. He said, Shoot. He said, Shoot. He said, I know. This is the truth. That's what he said, right? They told him, Oh, they won't go in for it. He said, When you have a prophet in this ministry, you don't give us something new. You come to confirm.
Yes, it's on the screen. We see a supernatural encounter. Yes, sir. We'll get there. You know another person that received it? Saul to Paul. Supernatural encounter. Some of you go visit you. And your life changes instantaneously. When he visits you, there is no process. Amen. Visitation of the Holy Ghost. So now, let's start with number one before I start. Remember the five ways that we'll be discussing for about five weeks? Receiving revelation knowledge. No God. Be in the right environment. That's right, sir. Serve a vision. Receive a supernatural encounter. How do we receive our purpose from God? We receive our purpose through revealed knowledge. Amen. How does it happen? Because God is the one that knows our purpose. He is the creator. He is the source. Yes. He is the one that has that information. Amen? Amen. Amen. AI does not have it. Amen. Artificial <laughs> intelligence Amen. does not have it. Amen. 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 YouTube does not have it. Amen. Google does not have it. Amen. Facebook. Twitter. Facebook does not have it. Twitter does not have it. Messenger does not have it. WhatsApp does not have it. The only person that has it is the person that created it. That's the only person that has it. Amen. If you try, you can Google. What's the purpose of God for me? You can let you go to the will of God. The word of God. They don't have it. Amen. It's only in the hands of the Creator. And how God reveals it to us, we reveal it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit knows the mind of God. Hallelujah. It knows the mind of God. Holy Spirit uses supernatural means. This is very important. Amen. Holy Spirit do what? He uses supernatural means. Such as dream. Yeah. As dream is so simple, Holy Spirit uses dream to reveal your purpose. Amen. I am so sure that some of you here, God has already spoken to you and tell you your purpose, but you didn't know it. Amen. Or you didn't understand it. Amen. So I'm going to that. I'm that. To dream, Amen. Holy Spirit can speak to you. He can tell you your purpose. To dreams, some of you know your purpose already. Amen. When you go to the book of your dream, I don't know if you make notes yeah. or whether you dream. Is that Holy Spirit has spoken to you? Amen. Sometimes, now let's talk about dream for a few minutes. Is that okay? Amen. Amen. Take it one by one, so we don't rush. Amen. Dreams can be symbolic. Or reality. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Symbolic? Or what? Yeah. Or reality. The most typical one is symbolic. Yeah. That means symbolic dream need interpretation. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes some of you gonna have been told or you didn't understand. Yeah. And the only person that can interpret it to you is the person that gave it to you. Amen. Hello? Amen. That's what this dream man. Because after some of people come to me for pastor, I had a dream. What does it mean? Is that my purpose? Amen. <laughs> and people come to me. I had this dream. Maybe you don't tell me about my purpose. I'm going to send it to him. Amen. Amen. For some time we can help. We can pray and we can help. Amen. 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 So when you have dreams, that's symbolic. It's too full. Symbolic needs interpretation. Yes. Uh, read dream, reality, what you see, it's what you see. Amen. Doesn't need interpretation. Amen? Amen. So Holy Spirit can tell us our purpose 
in a dream or in a vision. The only difference with dreams and vision is that one you are sleeping. The other you are awake. You can close your eyes and have vision. When you close your eyes, you are not sleeping. It is a vision, not a dream. How many have this kind of vision before? You just close your eyes and you sit there. That's a vision. Sometimes some people have so strong gift of dream, of vision, you can open your eyes and see it. Wow. And sometimes, I don't know if you have that kind of vision. Sometimes you see as a screen. How many have seen that before? Like in, I think you are watching a movie screen. How many have seen that? Amen. You see a screen, one screen. If you have a strong mantle, if you are in the office of a prophet, sometimes you can see multiple screens. Amen. I mean, see that before? Multiple screens. You lift up your hands. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to give vision, and two of us will ask you, what did he give you? How many have seen that? It's a very strong mantle. You will see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go and give it. <laughs> well, I'm going to see one. It's okay. I will tell you what to do. If you see one and you don't understand, what do you need to do? Pray and ask God to give you more. Amen. One of the reasons why God only gives us one to do everything. So when we get everything, we will see the space and more. I'm out. I'm out there. But God wants to spend time with him. Yes, sir. Amen. God wants to do that. Don't just trash it. Amen. You might be trashing your purpose. Woo. Don't serious. What you do when you go to Ezekiel and the cell, the body of the dragon, what happened? Prophet saw a what? A vision. The Lord God took him in the spirit and he saw a vision and he saw what? That is on the dry bone, everything was dry. Yes. And the Bible said the bone was very, very dry. Yes. If you see that kind of vision, we, if it's not continued vision, what is your conclusion? Yes. Death, thank you. Wow. Massacre. Death is about to happen. And begin to prophesy that. <laughs> But the prophet understood. He has God. I don't understand this. That's right. That's right. Break it down. Good. And God began to show him vision. Vision. And at the end, it was a massacre. God was showing him spiritual state of the children of Israel. Not death. That's right. That's symbolic. So if you have a dream, you don't understand, don't just trash it. Take it back to God. You say, God, I don't understand. I need understanding. That's why every Sunday I pray for spirit of spirit of what? Understanding. Even if you don't have the gift, go for a gift of me. But for measure of the pastor, the interpretation. Amen. Amen. Tell me the church. So God speaks. Holy Spirit will speak to us to dream, to vision, also audible voice. Amen. Audible voice. I mean, heard that before. Audible. Are you sure it's in the space? Not that somebody's calling you. <laughs> audible. Amen. It's not common nowadays. In the Bible time, it was very, very common. Yes. <laughs> so they're going to speak to audible voice. Or sometimes God gives your purpose to a sign. Amen. To a sign or supernatural encounter. To a sign or supernatural encounter. Or you can receive a prophetic word. Amen. You can receive a prophetic word. I mean, you have received prophetic word, and God is giving you your purpose. 
is very common in this ministry. Prophetic is strong here. Amen. God will be giving you all your purpose to prophetic world. Now, the assignment of the Holy Spirit to choose which way He wants to give it to us. Amen. Are you with me? Holy Spirit is the one that chooses. Is it my dream going to give it to you? If I give my salvation my dream and give it to vision. Or if I give it to vision and pastoration to supernatural encounter. The Holy Spirit chooses. Amen. For me, it doesn't matter which way, as long as I get it. Come on, somebody. You don't tell the Holy Spirit how you want it. Unless you have that kind of relationship with God. Amen. Glory to God. If you have a good relationship with God, you can tell God, say, God, give me three ways. So I don't miss it. Amen. Give me two dreams. Give me two accounts. You can. Don't tell him God what to do. But you're not telling God you want affirmation and confirmation. Amen. Let me tell, tell you what happened this time. Do I have time for a story? Yes. Yeah. Amen. I, I like application and teaching. I like application. Years ago, in the beginning of ministry, the Lord told my wife and I, the Lord told us, that we're going to meet a man, and this man, my dear Rashid Mujeri, remember and this man is going to be instrumental in our ministry. Amen. He will be our spiritual father. Amen. You see, we didn't choose spiritual father. He chose it for us. So God said, you're going to be this man. And that is going to be very instrumental in your life, in your ministry. Connecting to a lot of great men of God. And then, he said, this man, when you meet him, he gave us the sign. God is good. God is good. In view of the sign, when we meet him, he will be discussing this, this, that, this, this, that. We wow. wrote it down. Amen. And please write important. Every revelation from God is very important. Write it down, please. Amen. When God is speaking to you, record it or write it down. Don't put it here. Amen. Some people put it here. Say, oh, I remember the devil is from the garage. <laughs> Don't answer it. Write it down. So we wrote it down. So, after a few months, you know, we are expecting. Mm-hmm. We want to be this man. Yeah. So we went to Seattle, Washington. There's a conference. Uh, Casey Street. I don't know if some of you heard about Casey Street. Awesome teacher of the in Seattle, Washington. He was having a conference. So we went there. Back from ministry. So we went there. But on our way going, you know, of course, we're going to fly. <laughs> when we get to the airport, the first thing that came to us, ah, in this conference, we're going to meet a man of God. Mm-hmm. We are so expectant. And God told us that this man will be wearing a boot. That's right. That's right. After dinner, right. will be wearing what? A boot. <laughs> be wearing a boot. <laughs> <laughs> so we are married. She has to watch him too. Remember, it's right here. Uh-huh. We want to meet the man. Yeah. We are so expectant. Yeah. So when we get to uh, Seattle, we begin to look for the man <laughs> in the boat. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so they can laugh at me. <laughs> oh, you have to feel free to laugh. When the spirit of the lost is, there's what? Liberty. 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 The first thing I'm going to look at him now with it. Now, God didn't tell us when we're going to meet the man. He didn't tell us. The man. He didn't tell us. But also, he gave us the man will be wearing what? And God told us what he will be discussing. He will identify, he will know it is him. So we came to Seattle, we landed at the airport. The moment we landed at the airport, we are on our way to get our Lord. Remember, we are looking at the man. Remember, we are looking up at the shoe. Is he wearing the food? But the problem is, in Seattle, almost everybody wearing the food. Oh God, of famous and messy of me. Oh God, of famous. Everybody, when you look at that food, ah! You're looking at him, but I don't know. 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 I don't
expectancy. Yes, sir. When you don't speak the word, you are expectant. Yes. You want to happen in the now. Yes. Hey, come on. Yes, sir. You want to happen in the now. That's it, that's it. Who is expectant? And you are confused. Everybody went to go. So we went to the hotel we were staying at the conference. The one so man was teaching, I was there focusing on teaching right in. Not knowing. Yeah. Prophet Death Masha was looking all the way there to see who was bearing the book. It was a good environment. Yes. Yeah. The men and women of God. So she was looking. So not knowing where I was listening, making notes. She saw a man with a book. She said, she said, Lord, if it's me, let him cross his leg. Amen. Amen. Guess what happened? Oh, she missed it up. She might cross his leg. Oh, God. She crossed his leg. Then, then she tapped me now. She got confirmation. Be careful. What do you call confirmation? And then she tapped me. She said, I'm here. I'm here. That is the man. That is the man. Then after the conference, we went to the man and we did the talk. The man did not say anything related to what God told us to do. That's right. They will say, no, that's not the man. I'm teaching something here. I'm teaching wisdom here. You see. Then we came home. We did not find the man to the world. Then you don't say that, we are going to Dallas, Texas. Wow. Yeah. I think the name of, of the conference is FMN with uh, uh, Clefwell Dollar, with uh, Jesse Duplantis, uh, the Papa, what's his name? Egan. No, Egan. No, Egan Papa then. Um, well, I forgot. He lived on the mountain. Copeland! Big conference! So we were so sure now. Great environment. <laughs> We're going to what? Find the man who really proved. Let me call the long story short. Nothing happened at the airport. We look, we look, nothing happened. We finished the conference. At the end of the conference, the ministers who will go to the private place, we cook now, and then we come, we will eat there. You know? So we are expecting what? The man with the book. So after, I believe after Seattle, I got tired. Yeah. <laughs> I got tired of looking for the man who the go. God didn't tell us if it's going to be a white man or black man. God didn't tell us that. God didn't tell us. God just said the man who the go. And what the man will be saying. So after uh, Seattle, I was tired of looking. So I come away, I said, from now on, I am not looking for the man with the wolf. I said, this is what we're going to do. God is an awesome God. God is a mighty God. God can orchestrate. God can change things. God can make this happen by himself. I don't need to do for the man with the wolf. God let the man with the book not take me. Let him look for me. I am ready looking for the man with the book. God, the mighty God, you are awesome God. There's no one like you. Bring the man with the book to me. Just come. God is able to do that. It's a matter of faith. Come on, I mean, what you're when we declare, we activate possibility. Yes. Yes. When you say you can't, you activate impossibility. Yes. That's what I say I can do all things through Christ who strengthen me. Hallelujah. Activate possibility. All things are possible for them to believe. If you believe, everything is possible. That's what I'm talking about relationship with God. Right. Knowing God. We don't get there. This is a long series. We don't get there. Activate it. Faith is the currency 
she was able. Faith? Come on, say faith. Faith. It's the currency of heaven. My faith originates from God. And it's faith in heaven, not on God. Faith! Yes. We read the scripture that Thomas will just say, God give us a portion of his own faith. Yeah. We have God's faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We need to begin to see things are God's seed. Yeah. 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 Speak things into existence, it will happen. Speak into existence. The Bible says, we shall be back again and we shall be established. Begin to speak in your destiny. Are you kidding me? Uh, yeah. Yes. That's why we live in this level knowing God. Most people don't declare because they don't know God. That's why I said, I am not looking for the man with the bull. Let the man with the bull look for me. That's a relationship. That's why we have to cultivate a closer relationship with God. You don't need to be confusing yourself to be around. Amen. Some looking for husband. Some looking for wife. Some looking for their destiny. Some looking for their purpose. Some looking for their career. I come, your wife come look for you. And your husband come look for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I I will not look for the man with the God said it, I believe it, that's it. God said it, I believe it, that's settles it. God can talk of things. God can do things today. God can bring it to come meet you. That's why we make mistakes, we are looking. Spirit. Faith is the currency of heaven, of the kingdom. How do you speak? How do you spend it? How do you spend it? Spirit in the supernatural. Faith combat in this
Eu sou fim de si. Eu não quero você. Eu sou fim de si. 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 Amen. That's what happened. We went to the last. I stopped looking for the man to do it. I was at the place in Dallas, Texas. And we met people and women with us. The children with us. And the mother with us. And we all know who's going to be right now. Are you trying to show them something? Oh, and I have to speak to somebody that is looking. God said it, I will not get looking. Get God located. God is able to bring you into your heart. God do his work for you. There's this. Then, we went to big conference. We said, we're going to be the man. I stopped looking. I forget about my life. We did good. I was doing the work of God. We finished service. I think Jesse was about to preach that day. Then we went upstairs. Also, they will start for ministers, the ambassadors, you know. So we were eating, we were eating, you know. But somebody was still looking for the man. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> somebody was still what? Looking for the man. Let me go. Ask for me. Let's go. 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 We were eating. No. Round table, sit down, two of us were there, then my wife left, went to the bathroom, I believe. You come, you met with him, you saw him, but I was just thinking, the man went to the bathroom, asked me, he stopped. Oh, he said, I said, are you, where are you from? He said, no, I did not, the man has stopped, he's okay. Okay, but someone will see you get off this. Get off this. The man, the man came to my desk. My wife went to the school. She said, Oh, how are you doing? We're talking very from us here from Ella. She said, Oh, I'm from Tosa. Tosa, you know, of the Oma. You know, oh, okay. So we talk very from us. I said, Oh, I thought I have a lot of spiritual song in Nigeria. So the man went to the restroom. I was still there. The man came back from the restroom. He stopped at my desk again. Okay, okay. I was there. 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 He came and stopped at my desk. Again, so again, so again. So what you want? Why you saying? You know, she went to rest. She come back here. I say, okay. In my way, twice. So my wife came. We talk. Say, oh, you just go by. And, you know, just say hello. We want to, we want to meet you. Blah blah blah. We finish eating. We want listen to me. God is real. Our God is real. When you have faith, speak this thing. Your faith creates. Hey. Your work has the power to create. Yeah. Honest. Can we try and let me realize what's in because I'm all looking for the man with the book. If I'm looking, I'm not crazy. <laughs> if you feel the man, it's okay. Yes, sir. We are living. I hope I'm not living at the door. Yes, you are at the door. Amen. But that's even though he was feeling the book. He just stopped me again. So I said, why? I said, yes. So we were talking again. Talking, talking, and talking, and talking, and talking. I was the one that was doing the talking. Right. You guys feel like something wrong with that. You talk more than that one. She's the one that I'm talking. I'm the one listening. But I was talking, and I realized she was so quiet. I thought, I have to look in her heart. Is she in the spirit? I'm serious. Amen. I was just talking. She said, okay, so I was talking. I was talking. Not knowing. She <laughs> said, <laughs> <laughs> Not knowing. She looked at the man. Who's. When she looked, she began to communicate. Yes, sir. <laughs> With God. Is that the man? Because I already told her. Don't worry about anything. No, 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 no,
make sure you don't miss it. You will make sure you will miss it. You cannot miss it. Because the Lord said to me twice. I'm not looking. On the top time, the man stop us. Yes. Even we want to go, he will let us go. Yes. On the same time, I shook. Then the man said, I shook. Yes. This is the miracle. He said, Normally, I don't wear boots. He said, This book, I told it years ago. This is the first time I'm wearing this book. I'm telling you, when you have sex, I will make this happen for me. Many people who wear boots, I don't wear boots. Receive. Amen. To know 
God. Amen. Very important. Closer relationship with, with God. Closer relationship with God. Number three. Be in the right environment. Right. So I want you until we meet next Sunday, check your environment. Amen. Not only here, like I can tell you, environment here is rich. Amen. But what about at home? Amen. 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 Yeah. What about at home? Amen. Maybe you need to reorganize some things yeah. at home. Amen. Yes, sir. At home. Amen. Because you spend more time at home. Maybe at your workplace. Amen. Also, maybe your friends at home. Oh. Who are you associating yourself with? Oh. How are you getting me, God? Oh. You go a little deeper. Right. Some Amen. people will Amen. discourage you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Amen. Amen. Some people are not evil, they are chicken. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I'm sorry, I'm going tell you the truth. The Bible says, I am shopping. The people in the Bible are just shopping in you. They don't even have a knife for shopping. Hey. Oh. Oh. I don't know what I'm saying. Are they in, what are they imparting to your life? Yes. Hey. Amen. 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 Oh. There's something that you go is that they put you down. They want to draw life out of you. Yes. Yes, sir. Jesus. Are you good environment? Who are you associating with? Abraham almost lost his calling. Abraham, father of all nations, man of God, and he was doing good. Don't be scared. He was doing good. He was taking care of Lot. That was it. Lot was his nephew. Amen. Amen. I don't get me wrong, it's good to have. It's good to have. Amen? Yes. And there's some folks you can help from this side. That's right. Amen. 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 I'm not going to go for Come on, sir. I mean, I'm going to take you too. Abraham almost lost his yes. body. Amen. Almost. Almost. Being in the right environment, no one will tell you to live some people that are not live some places. Oh. Oh. Do you know why he does that? You know why he does that? He won't lose relationships. He lives too far from our family to be far from God. Don't say no, 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 no. I want to impart some things to you, Abraham. You have to leave your environment. And your costumes uh, and the God that they worship. Yes. yes, sir. And the people are like you there with me and you. Yes. Are you hearing this song? Amen. You gotta leave some places. That's right. Amen. You gotta leave some friends at the moment. I'll tell you the truth. The moment I answer the call to be a man of God. My friend, are you living in the left? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Are you living there? Amen. Because I stop doing what you used to do. Hello? What you used to do, I'm not doing anymore. Every time it's all about Jesus. Every time it's all about stop. Every time it's all about 
Jesus name. Amen. 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 